Hello guys, welcome back to Poker Celeb. Today we're going to be talking about Did Megan the Stallion really frame Troy Lanez? She explains. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. On July 15, 2020, Megan the Stallion stated that she had sustained gunshot wounds and that she had undergone bullet removal surgery. Her statement contradicted TMZ's earlier report that she had injured her foot on broken glass three days earlier. While she was in the car with rapper Tori Lanez and an unidentified woman, the car was stopped by the police and Lanez was arrested on suspicion of possessing a gun following a search of the vehicle. Megan was exposed to the ridicule because many jokes about the alleged shooting were circulated on the web. On July 27, 2020, she revealed that she had been shot in both feet and denounced the rumors and jokes in an Instagram live session where she also told about the incident and cried. The following month, Megan claimed Lanez was the person who shot her, saying that I did not tell the police what happened immediately there because I did not want to die. On September 25, 2020, Lanez released his fifth album, Daystar, in which he addresses the allegations in nearly every song and denies having shot Megan while claiming that she and her band tried to frame him. The same day, in a statement to Variety, Megan's attorney Alex Spiro claimed that Lana's officials had since attempted to launch a smear campaign against Megan to discredit her allegations. Spiro stated, We have been made aware of the manipulated text messages and fabricated email accounts that were disseminated in the media in a calculated attempt to spread a false narrative about the events that took place. Lanez's team has denied this, saying it will investigate who is behind the fake emails and take appropriate action. Tori also stated that the shooting was a failure and that the only people who know what happened are he and Megan. Interestingly, he forgot that his chauffeur and rapper's friend were also in the car in which the argument took place. The presence of these people and the Lanez investigation were key steps to find out the truth. Namely, the rapper's friend added in a statement to Megan on Twitter. In it, we can read that the whole situation was invented and Megan wanted to frame Lanez at any cost. There was a video under the statement that was evidence. In it, the rapper says that she wants to destroy the man and will do it in public and make everyone believe her. The whole situation is confirmed by the chauffeur and declares that he did not hear any shots and it would be impossible if they appeared and he did not hear them due to the fact that he was driving these people in a normal, rather small car. They were sitting in the back so everything they talked about could be heard and the chauffeur could hear the whole conversation. The Lanez team, which included detectives, also contributed greatly to the disclosure of the truth about the shooting. It turned out that they were spying on the rapper and connected special devices to her phone. This allowed them to see all the woman's SMS and recreate all of her phone calls. This idea was not in vain because what they heard was exactly what they needed. In telephone conversations, Megan called journalists and bribed them to create articles about the fact that she was a victim of Laneza. The rapper's SMS showed how the rapper pretended everything. Namely, in a conversation with her friend, videos and photos were found in which Megan creates an artificial gunshot wound. Taken together, the evidence is conclusive and shows the truth that Tori is innocent and was framed by Megan. Something that doesn't give everyone a conspiracy is the woman's motive. What did she want to achieve by destroying Lanez and his career? We suspect that the motive for such an action of a woman may be the fact that she thought that when she got rid of the competition and caused a scandal around herself, it would make her career grow. People are looking for even more other motives. For example, they say that the girl is in a cult and was forced to become a man. Others say that everything is there and that Tora himself agreed to support the scandal and kill his career. We are curious, what do you think about this? Do you have any precise thoughts? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment on it. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Take care of yourself and be safe. I hope you'll enjoy visiting this channel and watching the videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.